What's up everyone, Mariah here, and today I'm going to be talking about something that I really haven't mentioned before, but I wanted to bring this up mainly because it might be something that you have experienced, and I found a solution to this problem that I had, and if you have it, I hope that this can help you too. So I would say that in July of 2018 is when I started the keto diet. A few months in, as I was going along, I started noticing a lot of like dry, flaky, almost like scab-like things on the back of like the lower part of my head. And so they were small, I would say maybe like a little bit bigger than like the size of a pea and there wasn't like a ton of them. I would say over time it definitely started increasing. So at that time I wasn't really playing a connection between it and the uh, ketogenic diet, but now looking back I think that could have potentially played a role. And I would say that it started getting worse as I was jumping into my fast. So it started out just like at the bottom of my head and then it started definitely like climbing um, towards like uh, more up like the back of my head. I would like just scrub my head because it was like it was like these scab like textures and then it was also just like just like really really dry and really flaky and quite like gross to be honest with you. I didn't really quite know what to do. At first I thought it was because I was sleeping with wet hair sometimes, but then I stopped doing that. That didn't really solve my problem. And it just started getting worse. It just started like, like the more, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I would pick at it a lot. It was like really hard to not pick at it, even though it didn't really itch at all. It wasn't itchy, like I didn't have that type of experience. And I think dandruff is more like yellow, yellow-like and this was more of like, a white flakiness that was occurring on the back of my head. I started just like traveling. I think I even got it like really near my ear once and I would say it probably like stopped in this range and it didn't really re go to like the top of my head at all. Like I said, it started like getting worse after my fast and then what I was doing was I started actually putting coconut oil on my scalp. And so what I do is I would just basically put coconut oil like the tips of my fingers and then I would just like work it onto my scalp and try to get as much onto my scalp as possible. Sometimes I would do it before I went to bed and just kind of let it sit there overnight. Sometimes I would do it for like a couple hours before I took a shower, but it obviously makes your hair super, super, super greasy. Like that part's weird, but at least it smells good. And honestly, it went away. Like I have not had any issues at all with it since then. I am like quite amazed as to how great it like honestly worked. It's the only thing I tried to do and it's the thing that works the best and it completely got rid of it. And so what I did notice is I've never had like a dry scalp. My skin has always been on the more oily side. I would say after Accutane, it like more balanced out and it isn't nearly as oily as it used to be. I've never had an issue with dandruff or a dry scalp or like flaky skin or anything like that. Sorry, like I'm like having these weird burps. I'm on day three of a fast and honestly, it kind of feels like for the first time I might actually throw up during this fast. People talk about experiencing like vomiting all the time during a fast. I have not experienced it. My gosh, I feel like today might be the day. So sorry to like get off track, but basically after my fast, my skin became really, really dry on the top of my head. And I would just notice it even like right after a shower, I would have just like white flakiness, like all over like my hair. It was just a combination of my hair falling out. Plus that I'm like, geez, like I just am having really, really bad hair luck. And so for the first time today, I'm like, well, my skin was really dry and the coconut oil worked then, even though this problem seems different because I think it could have been candida um, overgrowth, but I'm not 100% sure. So then like today, or excuse me, yeah, this morning, I went ahead and applied uh, basically coconut oil to the scalp of like my entire scalp, uh, put my hair up in a bun, I sat in the sauna for an hour and then I took a shower afterwards. And I would say that I was very, very pleased to discover that once I blow dried my hair and straightened it, I went and looked in the mirror. I would usually just go like this and there would just be like some flakiness, gone. It completely took it away. And so I would have to say that once you do it, you like, once you like shampoo your hair, you really, really have to scrub to kind of basically get the oil out. And um, I would say my hair even feels kind of more oily afterwards. Um, not too, too bad though, but definitely it's like really hard to get it completely, all the oil out, but it works. And for me, like I rather have my hair a little bit more oily and do that than experience that what I think is candida overgrowth on the back of my head. 
and like the dry skin on top. So I'm really curious to know, like I've done research on like scalp candida and different things like that. I really haven't been able to find that much information. So if anyone has any experience or knowledge on what I'm describing um, and you've experienced it, please leave a comment below and share um, what has basically worked for you or how you overcame it or Maybe it's not even candida that I had on my scalp. Maybe it's something else. I'm not really sure, but for people that are experiencing that, like I am very, very pleased with coconut oil and how it has helped me in tremendous ways. So um, it might be something that you definitely want to try. It's inexpensive, um, it's quite harmless, and I hope it works for you. So as always, I hope that you have an absolutely amazing, amazing day and go out there and create a life that you love.